So what can we expect in an outbreak situation from vaccination? Firstly, with canine parvovirus, we know that immunity develops pretty quickly in uh, two to seven days after an effective modified live or recombinant vaccine. And uh, we also know that if you're managing the population in an outbreak, you can put into the low risk population any dogs that are over four, four months of age and also have been vaccinated with modified live vaccine at least one to two weeks prior to exposure to uh, canine parvovirus. If you're doubtful, has this dog perhaps got uh, parvovirus? Is it just diarrhea from some other cause? Of course, um, make a blood smear, put together uh, some information to see whether you're looking at parvovirus perhaps or not. But you, you should be able to put that uh, older puppy or adult dog that has been immunised one to two weeks earlier with modified live vaccine into a low risk population. As I said earlier, um, maternal antibodies can interfere with vaccination from the age of seven weeks to 15 weeks, those, the maternal antibody level is dropping off. But um, we, we know that after about five months of age, it doesn't really interfere with our vaccine response. Modified live vaccines can also produce some false no, um, positives with canine parvovirus fecal antigen tests. That can happen uh, three to 14 days after a modified live vaccine, so just be aware of that. They tend to be weak positive results and uh, they also tend to be pretty test brand dependent. Um, some uh, studies have shown that they're more likely to happen with the symbiotics witness test. With canine distemper virus, challenge studies have shown a really incredibly fast response to a modified live vaccine or recombinant vaccine uh, within four hours of a, an effective vaccine, those dogs are protected provided there's not a problem with maternal immunity, those dogs are protected from the really severe neurological effects of a challenge with canine distemper. There's complete uh, protection in seven days after vaccination from the challenge studies that have been published. Bordetella, uh, the intranasal vaccine, as I said earlier, tends to have a rapid onset of action in two to three days. And it can also be used in very young puppies of uh, two to three weeks of age because it does tend to get over the maternal immunity problem better than other types of vaccines, such as modified live vaccine. Canine para-influenza um, and also um, the hepatitis vaccine has a rapid onset of immunity in one to five days.